It's gonna improve conditioning, work capacity, endurance. You're gonna sweat your ass off and you will feel like a million bucks by the time you're done. Here are the five movements. First one, two to one, box squat to box squat jump combination. So what we're gonna do is get a nice box set up. I'm actually using a stable ottoman. You can use a couch. You want the appropriate height so that ideally, top thigh is parallel to the floor or hip crease is just beneath knee crease. You gotta elevate a little bit higher as needed based on your limb length, injury history, all that. Do what makes sense for you and your body. But all these videos will be in the living room so there's no excuse. I'm gonna show you how accessible this is, this entire program to, can be done at home. So we're gonna sit down, spread the hips, stay tall up top, one, two, and then we add a jump and I keep repeating that sequence four times. Do normal squats, add in the jump, and fly out. Try to get max height on the jump. And again, that's just gonna auto-correct your form, take pressure off the back and the knees, and allow you to go for longer, which is what we're looking for in this particular sequence. From there, bear crawl box drill. So you can kind of create an imaginary box. You're gonna be going around the box in that bear crawl position. Again, we're proving joint positioning, breathing mechanics, shoulders, core. I love this, especially for longer two-minute work periods. So I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna crawl forward a little bit, go to the side, so you're making that box. Keep tracing that box. You can change which directions you go, either from set to set, or a minute into the two minute work period. All right, the choice is yours. And again, this is about steady, slow stability movements. Again, I try to design this, you can do it in a really small space. But uh, try to keep your hips and shoulders square to the ground and think about a glass of water being on your back. Don't spill that water, it's precious. From there, alternating step ups. Now, you can use that ottoman again. If you find the ottoman is just a little bit too low, if you don't get enough range of motion, you can access, if you can, a staircase or a step situation here. But I'm gonna step up, slow control, so explode through, control down. I want you to get max reps for time, but I don't want you to ever plop, like I don't want you coming down and plopping down, losing control on the descent. So we explode up, but we control down, and really the progression becomes trying to increase the range of motion for you. So ideally, again, hip crease is just below knee crease. That's kind of the ideal range of motion. Really get into the glute ham as well. A lower box step is more quad calf dominant, higher box is more glute ham dominant. So go as many step ups as you can for time. Great cardiovascular, and again, great for improving stability and balance between sides. From there, crab box drill. Crab walk box drill. So this is a way to get your posterior shoulder and upper back musculature in a kind of reverse position of the bear crawl. So I'm gonna get down like this, and I can also mix between a really low position here, and then a higher, like a midway, or a fully extended position if you wanna get more glute. It's kind of up to you. You're gonna go slower in this position, but I'll just show the regular low. I'm gonna crawl forward, go to the side, come back, very tricep intensive. You're gonna feel this a lot in the rear shoulder. Make sure we're not, see that? Don't go turtle on me, stay here, all right? So you can change which direction the trace of that box is, all right? And keep rocking that pattern. And uh, again, the amount of time you're spending also in both the bear in the crab positions are really gonna improve your wrist mobility and strength. So do the best you can with that. And then the final movement is alternating lunges. Now, initially, always start with the reverse lunge. It's more glute ham dominant, less stressful on the knees, easier to learn in the forward lunge. You could do both options. You could do one minute reverse lunge, the second minute can be forward lunges, or you can mix between them, your crawl. Tall up top, we're trying to create 90 degree angles uh, with the legs. I like to go opposite arm leg, kind of mimicking that running pattern. You start slower, getting full range of motion, and then from there we can really look to kind of speed it up and get more reps. And then it is more challenging and more quad dominant to do a forward lunge and really emphasize the explode back. And we're alternating, trying to get max reps for time in two minutes. You can also set a target goal, how many reps you get per minute, and try to beat that total from workout to workout. Again, speed, stamina, conditioning, get it going. Looks like a simple workout on paper. You do this for 30 minutes straight, you'll feel so good. But I might mess you up. Bye-bye.